Hello there, my name is Ismos, and today we're reviewing the Blender Cloth Library add-on version 2, which is a big improvement from version 1, uh, and that you can get it directly on Blender Market, or I'll be leaving a link in the description for you to get it. Uh, there. Uh, this version has been improved quite a lot uh, with uh, the interface divided in two different modes. You have the pre-made and the, the simulation mode. This is a, a library of uh, cloth assets uh, that you can just drop into a uh, blender and use them uh, quite easily. Uh, for example, this uh, cloth element here, uh, this jacket here can be just thrown in into Blender and by use uh, directly there. And I also have the simulation mode, which is just a, a preset of uh, garments uh, that uh, you can just hit simulate and that uh, they will be simulated as a cloth object in your scene. Yeah, so let's look at uh, one by one and uh, go through the different settings and uh, the new improvements that have been added. Yeah, so if we go, if we start with the pre-made assets, uh, you can see that uh, uh, we have now different modes here. We have a guide mode. This is just going to give you a set of instructions on how to use the add-ons, uh, which is, I think, is uh, very useful. Uh, then you have the pause mode. Uh, if you have, uh, the pause mode is for when you have a pre-made mode. Uh, for example, if I have uh, this uh, jacket here, and uh, say you have a character, I'm just going to use uh, the collision dummy that comes with Blender. You can see that uh, the character and uh, the other uh, jacket here are, are in a completely different pose. Uh, let me use a female uh, dummy because of the bust here. But uh, yeah, so you can see that uh, they are in a completely different mode. Now with the pose mode here, you can easily uh, change the, po the pose of your garments uh, by just going into pose mode. And now you have these controls uh, that will help you uh, repose your garments at fit uh, the character. And uh, if you scroll down in pause mode, you'll see also we, there is uh, this pause library option. Uh, so you can change to a T pause uh, so that your character is in that uh, T pause uh, to align them correctly with your uh, with your character easily. And I also have this mirror option. Uh, so you can see that uh, the though we are in T pause, it doesn't uh, correctly align. It doesn't perfectly align with the character. So what we can do is uh, just go in manually and uh, just. Uh, uh, with the mirror pose option, you can uh, work on one side and then the other, blend the handles the other side. So let's just reposition these. Go to top mode and maybe move this just a bit in front. And now you see that uh, the hand of the jacket is a bit a bit longer than the character's hand. So what you can do is uh, select this and uh, just start scaling scaling them down a bit until you see that uh, uh, the the garment or the cloth garment aligns nicely uh, with your character. Uh, you don't have to worry about these inter intersecting too much because you have the pose mo you have a pose mode sorry a sculpt mode where you can sculpt uh, these details. Uh, so that you don't have that intersecting. And now if you look at the hoodie right now, you can see that it's a, it's a bit longer or a bit larger than the head of the character. So what we can do is select the head uh, control rig and uh, scale it down a bit to fit our character. Again, there might be some intersecting, but uh, that's not a big issue uh, since we have a sculpt mode here uh, that we can go into and then sculpt, sculpt those details out of our face. Uh, like so I can uh, also scale in this a bit just so this fit nicely that just extend them in like that yeah and uh, after you're done make sure that uh, you apply uh, the the pose uh, so that uh, it takes on the form of the uh, the character and uh, the rig will also be removed now that uh, we're done with that we can go to scout mode and uh, that should get us into scout mode and uh, we can start uh, uh, sculpting uh, the character so that we remove any intersecting. You can see we have a few brushes here we can use, but you also on the left side you have all these uh, default blush brushes that uh, come with Blender. I just added these here uh, so that you don't have to switch between different interfaces uh, to make your user is experience a bit better. Uh, so you can sculpt in these details in like so. And uh, for example, we have this, you can just use the grab brush, just increase the strength and uh, the size here. Let me just reposition these a bit better. In just a few 
means we have a jacket fit onto the character. Uh, we have a lot more assets, and I'll, again, I'll be adding more, especially for the uh, pro mode, pro version that is going to be coming up in a few weeks. Uh, you can pause uh, the rig, so we can have those. Uh, because this doesn't have any hands, I don't have to worry about these. Yeah, so let's go into the simulation or simulated mode. I'm just going to hide this for a second and uh, go to the simulation mode. And uh, now let me go to the women section. And uh, let me get uh, this shot here. Yeah, so in the previous version, uh, if you had, say, let me reset uh, this character's pose. Like so, so you can see that uh, our, garments is, our garment is in a different pose uh, from our character. So if you try to just go to simulation mode and uh, hit simulate, uh, you see that uh, we are going to miss uh, the hands uh, because uh, the pose mode, let me just reset the simulation, because uh, our garments don't really align uh, with our character. So, and I uh, can see we also have some intersecting, and if I try to push this in front, uh, then the back is going to be intersecting. Uh, so to fix that, all you have to do is go into pattern mode and uh, turn on add or remove uh, pattern controls and that should give you uh, these pattern controls uh, that you can rotate or move around and let's go to front view and uh, rotate them rotate the hands and just realign them to match uh, the her hands are like that i think that's good enough make sure that nothing is intersecting and i can see that uh, this area is here is uh, intersecting so i can select this and then now go to simulation mode and uh, hit play. You can see now everything fits uh, nicely. As, uh, if you want, you can shrink uh, the cloth or lengthen it. Maybe make it turn it into a dress or something like that. Or shrink it make it tighter uh, this if you over shrink it it will you'll have a few issues uh, like this so then you just have to reset your seam you can just reset your seam and uh, don't over shrink uh, the cloth it will cause a few issues and you can see yeah we have a uh, something like that and uh, after you're done, uh, you can go to the post simulation mode and uh, you can turn on, you can add, you can weld uh, the seams so that you don't have any seams. Uh, this line here is uh, just a result of the welding uh, modifier and uh, the normals failing to, to, to know what direction to face, but uh, we can fix that later. You can also add a subdivision surface a subdivision surface modifier like that increase uh, the levels directly here or just yeah so after you're done you just hit the apply cloth seam now that should uh, apply the seam now you just need to delete uh, these controls as we don't need them anymore uh, this line here again is an issue as the, of the is a result of the uh, world modifier so I can just go into edit mode select everything shift in and uh, that should get rid of uh, that and uh, after you're done with the simulation and uh, in the post simulation, you can enter sculpt mode and uh, you now have the ability uh, to sculpt your brushes, even add more wrinkles if you want to. So you can control the brush size directly here, it's strength here. And uh, let's see, you can uh, use the cloth brush to add extra wrinkles in some places. So for example, if you can just, and that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Again, you can download the add-on directly or from the Blender Market. I'll be leaving a link in the description. Thanks for watching.